So what if conservative management does not work for uh, hip osteoarthritis? So this is when a total hip arthroplasty or a total hip replacement might come into play. There's a bunch of different approaches that can be made for a total hip arthroplasty. These approaches include posterior, anterior, and laterally, but they're all with specific precautions after completion of that surgery. Primary goal of surgery is to relieve that pain and regain that motion so that the patient can get back to doing what they like to do. Here we have that replacement of that femoral head and acetabulum of that hip. The head is completely removed of the femur here and is shaped for the stem. Then they place a ceramic uh, femoral head replacement. The stem is, pl is placed uh, within that femoral bone. Uh, then the head is attached to the stem here. The acetabulum then is replaced with the stainless steel acetabular shell. Um, and then it can be fixed with screws, but maybe not. Uh, this will just help uh, keep that prosthetic maybe more stable. Now they add this lining cup here to the acetabular shell. Um, here they show a close-up of the stem of the head. It is very porous, uh, which allows there to be this osseointegration, uh, which stimulates a strong direct bone metal interface without the need for cement. And then once uh, this is surgery is all done, that motion is restored. Uh, there's that initiation of that therapy services uh, to improve the overall function, regain strength and motion.